continue to celebrate the 50th anniversary of hip hop, we're also focusing on some of its major milestones. 40 years ago, the first movie to introduce the world of hip hop was released in 1983. <laughs> And that was a clip from Wild Style. The film was shot in the South Bronx, Lower East Side, and other parts of the city. Now it's being inducted into the National Hip Hop Museum Hall of Fame. A special celebration will be held this weekend at the Five Points Festival in Brooklyn. And joining us now is legendary hip hop DJ Grand Wizard Theodore, who was in the film, and Jeremy Beaver, founder of the National Hip Hop Museum. Welcome you both. Thanks so much for having us. Yes. Jeremy, I want to start with you. Let's talk about the significance of this film and why you're inducting it into the Museum's Hall of Fame. Yeah, well, not only is it the first hip-hop movie, but it's also the greatest masterpiece that hip-hop has ever turned out. It almost by accident captured the ether and essence of the music and culture by displaying all aspects of it uh, from DJing, graffiti art, break dancing, and emceeing. It is a work of art really like no other in all of hip hop. Well, that, 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 that does not say at all, doesn't it? All righty, so DJ Grand Wizard Theodore, I want to jump over to you. What was it like to be a part of this movie that is now a piece of history? Oh, first of all, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Right. Um, Thank you. To be to be a part of this, I mean, you know, hip hop is my life. Um, um, when I first got the script, I was like, "Wow, is it really going to happen?" And um, you know, this story has to be told because this um, music genre actually changed the world. You cannot go anywhere in the world and not see um and not see hip hop. And um I'm just so happy to be a part of something that's bigger than I am and you know putting together the soundtrack with Blondie and her husband Chris Stein, thank you to them. And actually scoring the movie, sitting in the little room and watching all the scenes and putting the music to the scenes and stuff like that and only being like 20 20, 22, 23 years old while I was doing that. So I'm very, very happy to be a part of something like this. Now, I got to ask you, you are credited with inventing scratching, a, fund a fundamental element of hip hop. And tell me a little bit about how you actually came up with it, because I read someplace that it was an accident. <laughs> yes, well, um, in my last year of junior high school, in Morris High School, and on uh, 168th Street in Boston Road, um, my principal played music in the lunchroom. So, you know, everybody know in the lunchroom, you can either eat, be eating pizza or hamburgers or Franks or whatever in the lunchroom. And my principal was playing music in the lunchroom. So a friend of mine asked my principal to let me make a cassette tape. I went home, took my boom box, um, put it in front of the speaker, started making a cassette tape. Moms came in the room. Music was too loud. She started with me. I had to cut the music down. Um, did a baby scratch. She left the room. I rewound the tape back, listened to it, and said, "Wow, I think I created some scratching." So <laughs> I never looked back. I never looked back. Um, ever since. So it's thanks to your mom thanks. yelling yes. at you. <laughs> I, now, Jeremy, you are bringing some of the museum's more than five hundred exclusive and authentic pieces of memorabilia to Brooklyn this weekend. Can you tell us about them? Yeah, well, we have, you know, about 5,000 uh, pieces in the whole collection, but we're bringing about 500 pieces of hip-hop toys because throughout the history, you know, uh, hip-hop is not just America's largest export. Um, it's also, you know, a, a commodity. So this is, this is like a, uh, you know, one of the very first hip-hop toys. This is a Hot Wheels from 1989. Uh, from 1984, remember the Cabbage Patch Kids? We have the breaking Cabbage Patch Kids. Uh, then we start getting, you know, in the late 80s, early 90s, of course, then you start getting the MC Hammer dolls. And I don't know if we all remember uh, Shaq. Uh, had a rap career, and this is a rap master, Shaq. And then if you come out, you know, to the festival, not only is it this amazing exhibit of hip-hop toys, but you'll also be able to commemorate 
uh, you know, the anniversary, the 40th anniversary of Wild Style by getting some of these little mini crates or a little miniature spray can. The movie depicted, you know, uh, DJing and graffiti and emceeing like no other. So this will be our great excuse to commemorate the movie and use kind of like toys as a forum to kind of bring people in and get them excited about the whole genre. That's such a good idea. I love that. It is a good idea. Well, thank you both for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having us. And once again, the special celebration for the 40th anniversary of Wild Style is happening this Sunday at the Five Points Festival in Brooklyn. For more information, head to cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.